Hello adventurers and lore seekers, it is Esper here. In this installment of Adventure Maps, we're going to be exploring the Undercity. Uh, an Undercity, for those who may not know, is basically a section underneath a city where you may find criminal elements, black markets, and other seedy and uh, illegal or at least contra-legal uh, services, goods, factions. Um, in this particular instance here, um, I have created a map for the Undercity of Vitus. For those who might have seen in a couple of my prior videos, Vitus is the largest and oldest of the city-states of Palagos. And there are sections of Vitus which, over time, have been built over. In other words, parts of the city, the, the structures and um, uh, under sections, uh, sections underneath, uh, in time were actually just built on top of. And people now only live, of course, in the above ground or the surface level. But um, if you watched my adventure series, my adventure videos, for um, an adventure I ran called In the Hands of My Enemy, the player characters at one point went into the Undercity of Vitus by means of a secret entrance in the Necropolis. So uh, the first step that I, I undertook with this map was actually just drawing something, a basic line map by hand in my graph notebook. So here is, is that. And what you're seeing here would absolutely suffice if you were going to run a campaign or even an adventure or two that took place in a city and underneath of it was a section of Undercity where the characters could, uh, could interact and explore and whatever else they might see fit to do in this CD location. <clears throat> in the uh, Hands of My Enemy adventure, the characters found a secret entrance uh, that was in the Necropolis, an old Maus decrepit mausoleum on the edge of the necropolis in a very old section of that of that cemetery and there you'll see at the bottom this entrance and in that video there was this freaky pale almost diseased looking man with sharp teeth who served as a gatekeeper or a guard uh, the entrance of the Undercity, and he asked the characters, How much are you willing to pay to get in? To which they had to answer the correct passphrase, which was, Whatever it takes. I, um, as I said, this this map is really all that you would need. Um, it, it works perfectly to show... Um, the different major areas of the Undercity, and it's just a reference you could use when the characters are moving about. I, however, decided to um, experiment with a, a new type of map making technique that I came up with on Photoshop and ended up creating this map here, which of course is much more aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's probably just as functional, but it was enjoyable nonetheless to put this together and to go through the challenge of figuring out how to create it. So you'll see down there at the bottom portion of the map is the secret entrance from the mausoleum in which characters would enter down into the Undercity. From there, there is the entry passage, which does have traps. Um, and the idea behind these traps is to capture people that uh, did not answer the passphrase correctly. So the, what I immediately had in mind was that the, uh, the guardian would ask his question, how much are you willing to pay to get in? And say someone answered, um, you know, I'd 
pay you five silver pieces or I'd pay you a gold piece. He would take their bribe, let them go along their way. And as soon as they got about halfway down the entry passage, he would throw the switch and the floor would fall out beneath the character's feet into some sort of uh, chute or a ramp, a slide that would dump them down into the locked dungeon. There is, of course, other ways that you could handle that sort of trap entrance or um, or capturing method, but uh, that's just the first thing that came to my mind. So uh, yeah, there's the dungeon. Um, these little dotted lines are I'm just using to show that they're a a decline in elevation or a secret tunnel or an, an underneath tunnel, something to that effect. Uh, so there's a dungeon, which basically is uh, a locked area, possibly with individual holding cells. Um, going north from the entry passage, assume, assuming the characters entered were able to get in, that is, is the market. And here is where you would it, you'd find the black market, which is basically stolen goods, illegal items, and other such semi-nefarious to... Uh, fully nefarious wares to the uh, to the left is going to be a drug den which I don't know that I need to explain that anymore and then to the right is a brothel again you could have NPCs or portions of adventures come through here I'm sure there's plenty of uh, gossip drama and uh, seedy or, or, or dirt, rather, that the characters could dig up on other NPCs. Um, going up from the brothel is an area called the Block, which, what this is, is an area of dwellings. There are some people that live here in the Undercity. They are either miscreants or maybe uh, fugitives on the run. Perhaps they're just incredibly poor. Perhaps they're an outcast of some sort. Whatever it is, there are some people that that actually live or squat or whatever it is, <laughs> dwell in this area. Going down and right from the block is the Cleftus, which is a thieves guild. To the right of the block is the Smuggler's Depot, which is, I imagine it's sort of like a warehouse where illicit goods are brought in and stored and then transported over to the market. Um, going to the right of the Smuggler's Depot is a secret passageway up to a hideout. So I, I, I don't think this would be a very well-known access point to get into the Undercity. It would probably be very well-controlled and, and not widely known. I imagine that mausoleum entrance would be the main way that people would get into the Undercity, the main way that the players would gain access. Going north from the block, or at least up from the block on this map, is the Mirari, which is a group of rogue mages. So in other words, um, mages that are not part of the College of Elements and use their magic outside of the regulations of Vitus. Uh, north of there, really just an extension of their, their guild hall, or whatever you want to call it, is their workshop where they may do arcane experiments or laboratory tests going north from the market or at least up from the market is the pit which is an undercity arena so this would be a basically illegal unsanctioned fighting arena where people would go and spectate and gamble upon blood sport i put a couple unmarked chambers or buildings around the pit so these may serve as uh, training areas or holding areas for the gladiators um, or perhaps these small stations here could be places for officials or they could be little minor guard posts or uh, bedding areas like a uh, uh, bookie stands and then to the north of the pit is the, the pins where they hold the beasts for fighting Oh, I forgot to mention before, um, this Undercity, what, it, what it's actually made from is the old necropolis and the old sewer, like main sewer network of, of Vitus. In other words, it's a, it's a section 
of the city itself from an older age where the dead were interred and the you know the waste would be carried away so when it was initially created what would have happened is the the tombs and the corpses would have been uh, pulled out and dumped elsewhere and then new sections would have been excavated or opened up or I don't, want to sound, I don't want to say refurbished because that makes it sound like it's nice and this area is probably anything but nice. It's probably uh, dirty and dank and dim. To the upper left from the market is a slaver's area, which is exactly as it sounds. It's where slavers sell off uh, slaves of whatever sort. They could be... They could be criminals. They could have. They could be uh, people that were kidnapped. They could be more um, monstrous type humanoids, like uh, outcast or or subclass type creatures. At least from the perspective of the slavers and the people that might buy them here. Uh, in the adventure in the hands of my enemy, the characters were trying to find a girl and a boy, and. Uh, the uh, the rival of their father that had kidnapped them actually sold them to the slavers here in the Undercity, and they were in turn purchased by hobgoblins, and the adventure kind of went from there. Um, going left of the slavers area is the actual slave quarters, which is connected to the dungeon. I imagine those areas are just completely locked up and, and composed of cells or at least uh, locked down areas. North, more northwest or upper left from the market is what's called the maze, which this is the old sewer network. Um, Vitus itself, in the middle of the city, has this uh, this massive ancient well called the Heart Well, and there is an aqueduct, a stone uh, channel going in all, all four cardinal directions from the Heart Well, and eventually this water. Um, gets uh, gets dumped in through grates, and there's a, a basic sewer system that runs through the city. The maze would have been an older part of the sewer network. So even though on this map it looks like a, like a giant rectangular room, really what that stands for is a network of sewer passageways and tunnels and it's called the maze because obviously it would be very difficult to navigate through and, and you could get lost potentially. Um, to the lower left of the maze is what's called the graveyard. And this is just a, a big section where when the Undercity was initially cleared out that just the old tombs and coffins and corpses were dumped in. So there could be some fairly nasty things in there. If nothing else, it would be... Uh, uh, appalling in smell and in sight. I imagine a lot of vermin live in there, maybe some undead, um, or perhaps some other monsters that have come up from the sewers to feast upon corpses. I imagine um, occupants of the Undercity have picked through the graveyard and taken out a lot of the treasure, but... Um, any good DM knows that it's it's uh, it's more fun when there is always some treasure that escaped the thieves' notice, and the uh, the characters could stumble upon or find if they if they were lucky and skillful enough. You'll see these little dotted lines extending from the graveyard and from the maze, which basically show um, how you could follow the network of tunnels and get into the the present day city sewers. This could lead into other adventures or it could lead into challenges of skills, combat, endurance. Um, also, it could potentially serve as another way to get into the Undercity, though, of course, more, much more complicated and more dangerous. Going up from the maze is a cultist's hideout. Um, I imagine this is either a cult that serves a dark god or an evil god or a cult that is is shunned or oppressed and this is the only where in the only area in which they can operate 
and extending from the left is their shrine. So basically a small temple area with probably an, an altar and some other effects in homage to their deity. And just a quick note for scale I made on the bottom left is that each square is approximately 20 feet. So that gives you a rough idea of the size of the Undercity. You, you could, of course, make yours bigger or smaller. What this, um, what this map represents is basically a, a guideline or an idea that you could use in your games, whether it's Dungeons and Dragons or some other role-playing game, because this sort of location really is just ripe with uh, adventure, exploration, interaction with NPCs, and of course, shopping of the most likely illegal variety. Uh, you can find a lot of, of bad people here, from drug dealers to slavers to um, thugs, hitmen, pickpockets, um, evil cultists, gladiators who probably have a past history of, of crime or some other sort of skullduggery in their dwelling. Um, whatever it is, um, those sorts of of those sorts of elements of corruption and social decay always just pro uh, provide a very rich setting for adventure and uh, non-player characters to to spawn from. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it gives you some ideas, something to work with in your own games. This is Esper, hoping that your coin purses will stay full and that you will stay relatively free of misbegotten diseases. Farewell.